Cute Girls Hair Size and welcome back to another Fab or Fail. In today's video, we are going to test out a curling machine. It's called the Mira Curl. It's by Babyliss or Babyliss, whichever way you want to say it, I've heard both. And we're going to see if it eats your hair or curls your hair because it does definitely go so it could be a really bad thing or a good thing. If you guys haven't already subscribed to our channel, be sure to do that by clicking the red subscribe button below and let's get to it. So we are going to attempt to try this. It comes in a box that looks like this at the store. On Amazon, it's about $140, so it's an expensive tool if you don't like it. I'm kind of scared. I've seen those horror videos, you know? Where Twirls they it around. Like, oh. The good news is it could, you know, give you a really pretty curl or it could just tangle the hair all over inside and of then, it. Yeah, oh, I don't want my hair to And then, off. Yeah. This might be my second scariest first, the split ender. This is literally what came in the box and then like a little cleaning tool and a reserve little water compartment in case this one breaks. You take this little piece off right here, snap it off, and you put distilled water into it. So we've already done that and then you snap it back on and that's what creates the steam. It has a little winding tool in there that curls the hair up and then you have three little knobs right here. You have your power button that tells you it's on and the different temperatures. The lowest one's 375, the next one's 410 and the next one's 450. So it definitely gets very hot at 450. That's that's a, that's, that's pretty, pretty dang hot. hot. You have to have really coarse thick hair yeah. to require 450, so I do not recommend using that setting unless you have very thick, very coarse hair. If you have fine hair or medium hair, more like Cam, I think we're gonna stick around the 410. The next little setting on here allows you to set a zero seconds, no beeps, or it will beep at eight seconds, 10 seconds, or 12 seconds, and it will tell you basically like you've had your hair in here for 12 seconds, you should release your hair now. Um, and I'm gonna put it on eight and just see what the curl does there first. And then you have the option with the third button to do right curls, left curls, or alternating curls, which I love. By the way, I am just gonna say, cool. the fact that they put the ability on here that it will roll it to the right and then it will roll it to the left and you don't have to do it yourself, okay. thumbs up. And the idea is that you just put it in the hair, push it down and it curls it. So we're gonna start by just sectioning her hair and getting most of it out of the way for now. So I'm only dealing with the bottom layer and then I'm gonna kind of just divide it in half. I noticed because I'm right-handed, this little winding tool is supposed to be against the head at all times. The problem is that if you are doing it on somebody else, it's kind of holding it funny. Like it would be more natural to hold it like this than like this, but it's designed, camera, you hold it. So you watch what happens if you're holding it on yourself and pretending oh, like you're no, doing a curl. Really like See, then it's held correctly. So it's designed for you to be doing it on yourself and then it lands correctly. It says pick up about an inch piece and because we're on the right side of the head, I'm gonna make sure we're on the right. Yep, we have it set for eight seconds. And it says, take about an inch piece. It says it will beep if you have too much hair in it, it won't allow it to curl up into it. And it said, put it where you want it. Oh, see, I have to do this. This is almost like backwards for me. You have to put it in here, and then you're supposed to just clamp it down. And it sucks the hair in. It's weird. And then you heard one beep, two beep, three beep, then release, and let it go. And you've got your first curl. Ooh. Voila. <laughs> it's definitely very curly. Now, if you wanted a little bit looser curls, this is what I would typically do if I were using like a flat iron or a wand. I let it curl. So let, we'll let this curl for a sec. And then release. And then I just give it a tug straight down immediately, and that just softens up your curl. So if you want more of like the beachy, like bedhead type looks, don't be afraid to just give it a tug when it's still warm. Okay, I'm gonna notch it up just for kicks and giggles and try 12 <laughs> seconds. So again, I didn't change the temperature so it shouldn't like fry her hair. It's just gonna hold it a little bit longer. Yeah, and it just gives it just a slightly tighter curl. Really not super, it's not super. Like, it's not like a ton tighter, to be honest. <laughs> so I'm gonna reverse this now to left, and I'm gonna do this side of her hair. This time I'm trying a little bit bigger piece, like I'm experimenting just to see, like will this tell me I have too much hair on this one? Still took it, so that wasn't too much hair on that one. Let's see how this one turns out if it's a softer curl, because it was more hair. Oh, well, still did pretty good. Moving on to the next layer.
Okay, see that one? It didn't, you, di you heard it didn't beep because I used too much hair. So it kind of twisted it funny and it could sense that it was twisted funky. And so it stopped, which is good too. And it's supposed to be using steaming, so it's not as bad for your hair either, in theory. Okay, camera, you ready to try it on yourself? I don't know. Okay. I need a piece. Is this a good amount? Yeah, that's fine. Just remember, this has to go towards your head. That's okay, wait, so I hold it like this. Yep, yeah, yep. Oh, this is scary. Like there? Yeah. Just close it? Yep. Second beep. Let it go. What? <laughs> that was, next that was kind of scary. When I like sucked it up, it was kind of scary. Did you think it was hard? No, it was easy. It was just, I don't know, weird. It's weird not having to actually curl it. I wish the cord was a little more industrial. Like I love the professional cords and a little longer, but it seems to be doing its job. Okay, we're down to our last couple curls. Now we have, I'll give you a spin, <laughs> a whole head full of curls. The question is what will they look like once we soften them? So let's do it. Cam, are you ready to flip your head and shake it a little bit? Yep. Okay. And then we're just flipping her head upside down and like kind of running my fingers just through the top of her head down by her scalp. And this is just loosening the curls a little bit and like getting them separated. And you can see I'm not using like a brush. I'm not using a comb. I'm literally just kind of finger pulling at the curls just to loosen them up a little bit if they're still like this, or they're just sort of like too stuck together still. Okay, we're just doing the finishing touches on adding a little bit of hairspray to separate the ends a little, and we are done. <laughs> there you have it, guys. What do you think, Cam? I like them. It was a little, it was faster than normal, I think. Do you think a little it was? Bit. Yeah. Okay, guys, let's do the final spin here with Camry. See the curls in her hair all the way around. <laughs> ah, I love it. I really, I'm really impressed. Like I, I think it did a good job. I did not think I was gonna like it. I thought it might eat her hair. Me too. She made me try it on my hair first, yes. so that if it ate anybody's, it was mine. It was hers. <laughs> but I actually am pleasantly surprised with this tool. I think it turned out pretty good. Yeah, especially for like new, like younger you know, 12, 13 year olds that still haven't quite mastered a wand or a flat iron curl, I think this one's a really, still gets warm, so I don't know if you'd wanna hand it off to like a, yeah. you know, eight year old, but definitely gives them the ability to curl their own hair with super easily and efficiently, yeah. I thought. I, it was I think this curl's gonna hold well, I think it will wear pretty all day long. I'm, I'm really impressed. I also really like that it's a steam heat, so it doesn't do as much damage to your hair as just a regular heat which is really nice. Price point is a little higher yeah. than most people like to spend on hot tools. I mean, for a nice hot tool, it's it's $140, so you know, that's a, that's expensive to a lot of people. <laughs> but I know uh, Conair has another version that I think is more like 85. Haven't used it, cannot attest to whether it works or not. But I know that there are other options on the market. This one worked great, so there you go. Um, okay, let's fab or fail it, Cam, what would you do? Fab. Fab, two thumbs up? Yeah. Anything you didn't like? Not really. I mean, I thought it did a good job just overall. It was pretty, it was really nice, especially if you're like, like she said, younger and trying to figure out how to, how long to hold it. Like it's a great training yeah. tool. I totally agree. I would definitely give it two thumbs up and I'm I'm usually more ornery <laughs> with my hair tools, but two thumbs up for me. Yeah, it was if I were being super picky and this is like really picky, I would say I would love to see him replace the cord with a more industrial professional cord that's longer. I, yeah, longer. Maybe. And the weight is maybe, because it is a little heavy. By the end, my arm was a little tired. Yeah, but I, I mean, that. you're just building up arm muscles. <laughs> so you don't have to go to the gym for the day. You just curl your hair, and then you're done. If you guys haven't already subscribed to our channel, be sure to do that by clicking the flower right down here. And to see our other Faber Fails, can we tell them where to go? Over here. Check it out, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye guys, bye.